Gentlemen, our next contest will be five rounds in the 140 pound division. Please welcome our first fighter making his way to the blue corner. He is 26 years of age. He stands 170 centimeters tall. He represents Thailand. He is in Sitong Port Pinapad. Just while we're waiting for Insitong to the corner, I'm joined by Yasin Buganem, who just was victorious over James McSweeney. Yasin, how was the fight? Talk to me, please. Hi, I'm fine and, and thank you for interview. Uh, the fight it was uh, easy because uh, it's uh, for me. And uh, ladies like and gentlemen, please welcome our second fighter game, you know, making his way to All the right, red yes, corner. Thank you. Congratulations. He is 24 years of age. Okay, he stands care. 177 you. centimeters tall. He also represents Thailand. He is Pat Sianalek Rachano. Yasin, a man of few words as normal. Hopefully we'll get uh, some more of the fighters later on to join us here ringside. Uh, what is I've been waiting for this one all week, I have to admit. I have a soft spot for uh, Petsanlik. Of course, he's a uh, former Channel 7 Stadium fan favorite. And in 2013, he was the uh, Channel 7 Stadium Fighter of the Year. Of course, the uh, son of the late great Super like Saur Isan. It's kind of a bit of a uh, checkered career ever since he won the uh, coveted Channel 7 Stadium Fight of the Year, Fighter of the Year back in 2013. Of course, he's based out of the Ratchanon Gym in uh, northern Bangkok, and it's uh, connected to the Air Force, and uh, Petsan like joined the Air Force, so he missed a lot of time out of this sport the last few years, but he's back now. Back, get, trying to get back onto the elite fight circuit, and he's still only 24. And he has that pedigree, Teddy Mulvey, pedigree from yes, his sir. father, who was a multi-time superstar back in the golden era of Muay Thai. Yes, Super Lake. What, a, what a great guy too to uh, to leave the career and to be able to go represent Thailand, you know, for the military, serve his country, you know, get that experience, that life experience as well that he can put back into the ring. And here he is, Petsanlek Rachanon. 24 years of age, 177 centimeters tall, 60 fights, 50 wins, 10 losses, former champion of the Top King World Series, and of course he's a former WPMF world champion. He used to fight at 135 pounds at Challenge 7 Stadium back in 2011, 12, and 13, and of course back then there was no lightweight 135 pound championship division. I used to always say it, him oh, and really? Apisit, Apisit KT Gym and Petsanlik were the superstars of that division, even though there was no division. There was 130 and then 140. There was no 135 pound weight division. Ah. So they were caught, they were too heavy to fight for titles at 130, too light. small mm, yeah. to fight at 140. And Finally, now there is a uh, weight division, 135 at Challenge 7. And his opponent, in Si Tong Poor Pinapat. 26 years old, 170 centimeters tall, 140 pounds. He has 98 fights in his belt, 72 wins, 22 losses, two draws. He did have a draw against Pin Pat back in the Chiang Rai province, a win against Navi in Lumpini Boxing Stadium back in January, and also a win against Fa Nam Chai up in Nakom Patom province. It's fought all over. Sure has. Insi Tong is, uh, went to uh, Japan last year and fought against uh, Genji Yumeno, former WBC Muay Thai, and got knocked out by Genji. Genji Tong. Fighting out of the uh, Port Pinapat gym, which is based in southwest Bangkok, just on the outskirts of the city in the Bangkei district. And of course, uh, the aforementioned Petsanlik, training out of the uh, Ratchanon gym. This is one of those fights that just has something about it. There's something in the air. You can see it in the betting pits. You can see it around the ring. This is one of those fights, top high-level Muay Thai, a lot riding on this.
Okay, here we go. Five three-minute rounds, of course. Muay Thai rules. Phoenix, eight, live from the Mecca of Muay Thai. Bangkok, Thailand. Teddy Morve alongside Kevin Noon bringing you the action. Thanks for joining us live throughout the world on our Facebook app, Phoenix Fighting Championship. Hope you guys are having much fun as we are right here ringside. Yeah, this at, is go ahead. fascinating. I'm just I'm fascinated by this encounter. Sorry, Teddy Morve. No problem. Just uh, going to say the atmosphere here is just, it's just amazing. Go ahead. Of course, uh, Super Jeng Por Binapat. The gym mate of uh, Insi Tong is, uh, is the current Lumpini Stadium bantamweight champion right now, 118 pound champion. Of course, a lot of our Muay Thai aficionados listening on the app will know the Rachanon gym pedigree F16, Wacharachai, Design Rachanon. Go Pet Sunlak in the red, Insi Tong in the blue, 140 pound division. Phoenix Fighting Championship 8. Big, yep. big push kick right there by Pat Sunlak. That's his uh, signature. He comes out attacking. This oh, why, head kick! This is why he was such a fan favorite at Channel 7 Stadium between mid-2010 all the way to uh, end of 2013. Accumulating with him being voted the uh, Fighter of the Year Channel 7 Stadium. And C. Tong smart enough to get aggressive and get out of that corner, but he's getting backed into it again. Pot pet Sunlek dictating where this fight's going. That steely look in the eyes of Pet Sunlek. It's a bit scary, to tell you the truth. It's quite scary, I, I, yeah. Honestly, it really is. He's got that those wings on his chest as well. Like this dude. He's also got his wife and kid ringside watching, standing. That's his wife there standing. You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's To me, it changes the dimension of a fight when your wife and kid are standing next to, to the ring watching, urging you on. Good one, two. Just out of range, though. Pet Sunlak, great distance. You see Tong, though. Showing him that he's here to fight. Back against the ropes. Oh, good push kick there. Yeah, Pet Sunlek has a tendency, though, to, to be overzealous on occasions. It can be detrimental because Insi Tong yeah. has got power in that right hand. And that got a big, there it is. That big, oh, beautiful uppercut oh, in between that combo. Wow. Big left body kick that Insi Tong possesses. Oh, there's another body rip with the one two up top. Yeah, lovely combination. Fast, crisp. Oh, that precise. left. Did it rock him? Now he looks good, and Tong looks good. He's still working off the ropes. He's got to get his very counters up. very astute boxer as well is uh, Petsanlek. Fought in the military games on many, many occasions, winning gold medals for boxing, representing the Air Force. Minute left, round number one, huge body shot, nice Teddy, hook low. He loves that body rip, Teddy Mulvey. It's beautiful. He's stalking in Tong right now. Oh, big overhand right. In Tong though, with a body shot coming out of the corner. Yeah, Tong is staying calm and composed. Yep. He just... And he's on with that back. Looks nice. Dude's in shape, man. Again, not afraid of taking the man's body back to the fight. He's trying to read the movement of Pets on Leg. Man, right that now. body rip and he goes up top. Good check by NC Tong at the end. I'm getting flashbacks to Channel 7 right now. <laughs> Pets on Leg. It's, it's hard not to see his dad as well when you watch him fight on occasions. A nice little elbow there during that exchange. Oh, he caught that. Comes in a huge right body kick on his own. Velocity behind that kick from Petsanlek. No yes. panic in the eyes of Insi Tong right now. No, but there is determination. Great body rip with a 2-3 coming to the top. Good high guard by yeah. Paul Pinapat Jim Fighter, yeah. Insi Tong right now. Yeah. Stalking. He's right above me, Teddy. Look at the, the Yo, <laughs> anger and aggression scary, in his eyes. Yeah, he is ready. I'll go right hand. And see, Tong handled that so well, though. Excellent really first round. Beautiful. Absolute fantastic. Take a look right there, that beautiful Lumpini Stadium. Yeah, Madison Square Garden. atmosphere is electrified right now. Look like the Madison Square Garden of uh, Muay Thai fighting right here. It gets a little bigger than this. On oh, the betting pit, no doubt, is going ballistic. Looks like one of those 80s movies in Wall Street. Both corners, but calm. Take you through that replay once the booth gets it ready. Once the truck gets it ready. Man, what a round one, huh? I feel the intensity here. Good aggression there. But NC Tong, good head kick. So mean, so aggressive, ill intentions. Hey, bites down on that mouthpiece, rips it. Great combination there, finishes it with the kick. Begin, beginning, middle, and end is combos. Look at that right there. Defense by NC Tong. Good catch. Rips that body shot. 
Very, very heavy kicks there by Pet Sunlack. And there you have so it. So calm and composed in the corner of the uh, Paul Pinapat gym. They're just rubbing down the fighter. No one is talking. He's just staring over at Pet Sunlack. The Vichai Ratchanon, the, the big boss of Ratchanon gym. A uh, very proficient boxer in his, his days himself. Just illustrating to Pet Sunlack. Move the body, keep the body moving and, and, and let those hands go. Even more so here in the second round. Oh, really? How oh, even more so? He was. Oh, he has it. He, he has does, it. He possesses he it. He absolutely does. You're absolutely right. He's fantastic. And you gotta love that from the corner too. You know, if someone does something like that in round one, they go, "We can get more from you." Beautiful. Here we go, round two. Pet Sunlek in the red corner, In C Tong in the blue corner, Teddy Mobile alongside Kevin Noon bringing you the action. Live from Rumpini Boxing Stadium. Phoenix Fight 8 gets no bigger than this. A little bit more controlled here at the start of the second round from Pet Sunlek, opening 15 seconds. <laughs> yeah, just give it time, opening 15 seconds. So you can see Tong, I like that. Working off that jab, working off that push kick. Of course, Lindsay Tong has uh, fought one of the uh, French fighters coming up later on tonight, Rafi Bohic. Lindsay Tong and Rafi both partook in the uh, Fuktian uh, tournament in, at Omno Stadium a few years ago. Of course, Rafi got to the final of that, losing in the final. Not losing to Lindsay Tong. Beat him no, to get there. Yeah. beat Lindsay Tong. Ooh, goes up top right there. I heard that all the way down the Chow Pai River right there. Smack! It's not like just stalking Inzi Tong, looking to soak up the pressure, staying on that back foot. Inzi Tong, though, being very smart. Once uh, Pet Sunlight gets close, once he gets in the striking distance, Inzi Tong hits him with something. Let's him know. Doesn't let him really do his entire game plan so easily. Oh, big kick! Oh, beautiful combination by Pet Sunlight. Hold it up with that right hand. You know I love that combination, Kevin. Velocity from both fighters there in those way, kicks. Way too strong, way too fast for uh, for their size. The thinking, the plotting that's going on right now in the mindset the, of both fighters. The computing. Every strike, everything. It's fantastic to watch. Ah, oh, just peppering Whoa. each other's upper leg muscles. Two knees unanswered. Now they switched. Both, they both slammed each other. Oh, it was a one for one. Yeah. That's how fast they are. <laughs> you said it. Sir. You know what I mean? You said it. This is why I was fascinated by the matchmaking here. It's such a fantastically matched fight. Okay, here we go. Back into the clinch. Muay Thai 101. Oh, wow. The velocity wow. and speed behind that kick from Inti Tong. The the upper rib cage. Off. Yes, sir. Petsang leg. I like that. 24 Hi, year old Pet um, Sanlek, red shorts. 45 seconds left, round number two. 26 year old Vinci Tong in the blue. Ratchanon Jim versus Port Pinapachi. This is beautiful brutality right now. Great, great combinations there. Two looping hooks. And then look at him, look at the killer stare. Nice defensive evasiveness again by Pet Sanlek. The eyes, if you watch his eyes, he's just reading. Great body from Head to stomach of what Vinci Tong is trying to do. Love that spear knee into the upper leg muscle. Another one. And stabbing him around. Another right one. And good defensive work then to lock the leg yep. across his waist. And he's also locking the arms, not allowing an elbow over the top either. So the way he's looking right now, Pet Sound Leg, he's looking like a serial killer. I'm going to call him Dexter. Oh, nice, nice uh, body rip, though, just off the arms of Pet Sound Leg. Round number two in the books. Amazing high level Muay Thai right now, this chess match that we're watching between these two legends. Betting pit is alive, of course. You can see it there behind his head, the hands waving, the numbers in the air. Look at it, look at it, behind the red uh, corner. There's ex Ratchan on gym fighter, watch Arachai in the corner of giving some instructions to Pets on Lick right now. Of course, he had some fantastic wars back in the Mid 2000s, late 2000s, mid with the uh, Kia Pet Gym fighters. All right, take a look at the action. Push kick, good head movement there by MC Tom. That's something like great defense there. Got that body rip through. Right kick, right punch there by uh, Pat Sunlight. That was that beautiful push off, rifle shot to the body. 
Good defense there, negating any knees and then rip, rips one himself. Here we go, defense right there and then boom, offense. Finally, N.C. Tong comes back, doubles up on it. How vicious. Right on Pops him. On Corner just telling <laughs> Petsan Lake, let those hands go on the midsection of N.C. Tong here in uh, round number three. Such a contrast to the corner of the uh, Paul Pinapak gym. They're absolutely calm. Just telling N.C. Tong to keep his control, keep his calmness, and let that left body kick go. Nice push kick there, N.C. Tong. Keeping the predator at bay. It's not like stalking yeah, again. Yeah, it doubles up on that body shot. Yeah, two unanswered roundhouse kicks. Beautiful work. Speed behind those kicks. And the speed lands on the body. Again, in Tong with that left body kick. Great. That's what his corner was talking about. Three Telling him to couldn't look for it. Three hit combo referee has seen enough. The poor Pinapak Jim Corner, they're very happy with what Pitsan Lake is doing right now. He's just staying on the uh, Oh, Tong. good catch. You can see Tong, though, being able to elbow that off. Still landed, still scored, but at least he protected his body. Great defense by the blue corner. And I hope he works that jab a lot more. Head sound like continuously in this stalking mode. Tony is Dexter. Serial killer mode right now. His corner not happy with him, though, right now. They're telling him he needs to throw more than just one kick. Yeah, they got Lincoln some more combos. Oh, he got caught! He's gonna get taken down. A nice balance to stay on that heavy on that back foot. He draped his leg like... in between, in between the midsection of his opponent. Ow! Great, great body rip. Inside Double elbow! elbow there by Petsan Lake. Beautiful spear elbow. With a velocity and torque there by N.C. Tong. Hits him oh, again! Outside knee by uh, N.C. Tong. Another and one! Another one! He's got a good grip on uh, Yeah, he does. Races. Tight, no tight punch. And that brings him back to the center of the ring. What a left hook right there. Great footwork as well as he steps to the I, side, I, I Kevin. I wish to gosh they could see him at home, the camera angle. If you could choose your own angle and watch <laughs> the, the <laughs> eyes of Petzalek. Oh, huge that velocity on that by knee. Nice switch almost, from the canvas. Almost got him. Didn't Love the referee him. there. Just broke it up at the end. Oh, went for an elbow over the top. Great defense by NC Tong goes for a trip. Instead gets a body rip. Final minute of the third round. Big elbow inside there. Yeah, just locking across the legs. Knowing full well the referee will going to break it up. Nice rip set jab in there. Goes for the hook. You gotta admire the high guard of Incy Tom yeah. though. He's really keeping that fire uh -oh. so high. Oh, he gets taken down. That was just driving determination there by Pat Sunlack. That body Sun rip. That, that body, body shot rip. again. It's so beautiful, Kevin. It is beautiful, but you gotta admire the steel yeah. and the grit of Incy Tom. Absolutely. How oh, long oh. can he take those shots? That's He's the bigger question. Okay, body rip goes over the top of the right hand. Another right hand. And see Tong now on the ropes. Another right hand. Big overhand right. Left. Landed flush on the chin. Goes for an elbow. And see Tong. Stabbing him with those elbows then. Defense wow. saving him though. And see Tong high level defense right now. Look at the anger of the face of Ben Sanlek. Beautiful. Round four, coming up round three in the books. This is beautiful. This is seriously beautiful brutality. They are playing a chess match in there, but the defense of NC Tong has kept him alive. They're playing devil's advocate against <laughs> each other. Right <laughs> they now. are. It's, uh, absolutely stunning. Man, and putts, I mean, pets on leg. Looks like a serial killer. If you can see the view that we have here inside. Boom, there's that beautiful body rip. Look at that, how he wraps his, uh, his, well, well, his, his well, well, leg around the Hang on a second. Oh, go ahead. Oh, I'm no, sorry. no, you, you take the replay. Okay. I'll tell you in a second. There's those beautiful knees just rifling, stifling right there. Back and forth action. Nice trip. Don't think the ref's going to call that a takedown. Elbow over the top. Look at the defense by NC Tom. Beautiful, beautiful guard. 
Got him with that knee. There's just that drive and determination. Went right through that takedown. Body rip, doesn't get it, that overhand right. And then goes for this elbow. Oh, with the defense. One of the gamblers was trying Go. to get the attention of Incitong. Really? And the cornermen were trying to answer him, but he kept saying, Medong, Medong, no, I want. And he was trying to offer him oh, 100,000. Straight to the fighter. No, 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 but Incitong wouldn't, would not look at him, look just at ignored him. him. So he walked away. Pure professional. He has his eyes on the prize. Petsan Lek has his eyes on the prize. Which is, too. yeah, just defeating his other opponent. He doesn't want to get sidetracked by any more or less money. They're getting paid handsomely, anyways, for this fight. Petsan Lek was go. here uh, last month. He's fought a mesmerizing draw with Kunpon. Of course, Kunpon training at Skarbowski Gym now in Bangkok. Former jockey gym there in the Bangsu district. You can see the, the damage, though, on Petsan Lek's left side. Oh, those slams. Oh! From Incy Tong. Listen to the crowd going bananas. What a trip! What Time a trip! That to perfection. He waited, he waited, and he struck. Perse perfection personified. Body rip goes up top with the right hand. Incy Tong's got to stay busy oh, right now. Oh man, yes he does. He's, he might be rocked though. He's got to keep that guard high. He's going into that. Two minutes, 20 seconds left. Round number four. He's been punishing that side. Look at it. You see the damage. Yeah, Incy like is so dangerous it. on the inside. Power of that right body kick by Petzalek. Incy Tong is all grit and steel as well. Absolutely fantastic matchmaking. Great defense right there. Drives it in and drapes his leg across, but not defense. Not good enough. Oh, beautiful technique there. That outside slap knee by Incy Tong. Referee goes in. I what a, what a grueling you. war yeah. this is. Oh, big flying knee! Just like Ziwi also wanted to try, used to do at John Seven. Beautiful by Incy Tong. Aesthetically Pet pleasing. That's not like trying to bully him in the corner. Incy Tong's defense so high level. Good knee. Trading back and forth now, each fighter. Left and right. A smart move by Incy yeah. Tong. That defense there draped that shin right across the midsection. Rest Big right the hand! Right now. I want Incy Tong to start throwing them hands a lot more. A good defense work by Incy Tong again. Beautiful right now. It is beautiful. Incy Tong's corner screaming at him now to turn. Look to turn Pets on the leg every time they're in the clinch and work off that. Huge body rip, Incy Tong. Oh, both have a high guard now. Jostling for position. Grappling, so grueling, so exhausting. Final minute of the fourth round. The free has to get him off the ropes. Elbow over the top. Again, looking for a home for that elbow. Great strip, almost dumps him out of the ring. Good power and technique there by Petzanlek to execute that. 30 seconds left, round number four. Complete contrast now. Petzanlek is happy to stay on the back foot. Incy Tong walking forward now. That slap knee has been beautiful. Well, Kevin, you mentioned it. It's, it's hit so for tap it really right now is. here in this contest. Vinci Tong so aggressive right now. Another one. Another one. Oh, I love that technique. Oh, my back. Body Beautiful kick, by Vinci Tong. Absolutely stunning. But. Oh, ho, ho, ho. the ropes literally saved Pets and Leg from crashing to the canvas there. Four rounds in the books. Fifth and final round coming up. What a war. The symphony of strikes. It is Muay Thai is on display at high level right now. Phoenix 8, Lumpini Stadium. Teddy Mulvey alongside Kevin Noon. Honored to call this beautiful card. There's a lot more action coming your way later on. Don't go anywhere. Not like you would with this fifth round coming up right now. Of course, up next we have uh, current Lumpini Stadium welterweight champion Rafi Bohic defending is no sorry no, not yes, i was going to say tell he's him again he's taking on Pong Siri for the vacant phoenix welterweight champion he's not defending his yeah. penny belt tonight and the fight the official fight weight is 148. we'll explain that later once we get into the next contest and this is that gra grappling war right now that beautiful boy tie clinch he's a fighter pummeling inside great trip right there knee for knee those slap knees the torque the velocity they can get on those the reverberation through the body. Look at the referee diving in to save the fighters. 
There we go, a lot more of it. Knee for knee, almost threw him out of the ring. What a beautiful technique that was. And there it is again. Slap me, can slap me. Caught it. What a beautiful body rip right there by Pet Sun Lek. Here we go. Fifth and final round. Look at that. Pet Sun Lek takes center stage. Referee has to stop him from going over there and starting to fight too early. Gotta love it. Dexterous. A serial killer. And Si Tong, though. Defense, beautiful, and the precision of his shots as well. Boom! So crisp, so clean. There we go. Final round. Petan Leg in the red shorts, in Sitong in the blue. You can definitely see Petan Leg now taking his foot off the gas here in the fifth round. I think he's going to be happy to try and soak up any pressure in Sitong brings. Oh! Firmly believing in his mindset that he could have this contest sealed. Oh, good inside low kick there, in Tong. Ow, oh, what a shot! Kick by Incy Tong. Another Switching one! To the right now. All right, Pet Tong likes to have to have some offense. He's just going to get beat up. Oh, my God. Are they going to give a standing eight? Bit They're a, not. No, no, a bit of a slip on that as well. The kick and the slip, because he was right here in front of us. Flying knee again. This time, Pet Tong likes he's a coming with oh, some he defense. Oh, slammed that outside knee again. Beautiful work by Incy Tong. Petsonlek's corner now is screaming at him. What are you doing? They're, they're actually getting angry with yeah, the fighter was, right now. I was going to say, I see some angry faces in the corner right now. They're telling him to keep moving, yep. keep moving, and use your elbows to keep Incy Tong at bay. Oh, 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 that's below the belt. There's about three knees right there, right to the cut area. Incy Tong is smelling the blood right now. Yes, he is. He wants this victory. Is it a question of too little, too late? Yep, that's what I was going to ask you. A minute 35 left, round five. Fifth and final round. Doubles up on those body shots. Beautiful technique. There goes to the right side. Petan Lek is really tired right now. Yeah, he is. Fatigue is definitely hitting him. Flying oh, knee! knee! Aesthetically beautiful. No, he landed that knee as well. He, he actually connected. I think you're right. Petan Lek has done a lot. Oh, he's tired. He's, he's tired. Yep, he's he so is. tired right now. I don't think he's going to offer a glove. So uh, his corner are telling him he's got to move. All right, he's moving a little bit. Hands down. Yeah, this is what he needs to do now. Final minute of the round. Oh, buckled him. Oh, it's Tong. Never, so never aggressive. looked away. Yep. Look at what happened at uh, Legend of Stadium last year with Chanasuk. And the Torlak Songju fighter turned his back and he knocked him out with an elbow. 40 seconds left, round five. Teddy has calmed down. All eyes just on this beautiful war that we're seeing right now. 35 seconds. Referee inside. Ah, oh, clever referee again. That's on like, look at the damage there on his left side. It is gross. Flying knee misses. Is he going to get a takedown? MC Dong is doing everything, everything. to change. I'll push the mindset of the judges in his favor here in the fifth round. Final 10 seconds. Petan Lek Rajanon, Inti Tong, poor Pinapat. Oh, did he get the trip? She no. did a little trip. The ropes again. Wow, and there you have it. Instant classic here at Lumpini Stadium. As my partner in crime says, Pet Sun Lek in the red, Vin Si Tong in the blue, fifth and final round in the books. Judges scorecard for a decision. Is it a Grant Waterman, the announcer, for the decision? And there you have it. Pet Sun Lek Rachanon does enough between rounds one to four, takes the victory over In Si Tong, Porpinapat. Phoenix Fighting Championship 8 live from Rotterdam Stadium. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, Patsyanle Karachano!
That's when Pet Sun might look the other way and see Tom goes in for the kill. Beautiful, beautiful heart and grit. Coming from the blue corner in see Tom, but he just didn't have enough. The aggression, the combos coming from Petsan Lek. I think that's what did it for him. He stuck to the game plan. He was stuck to his aggression. Didn't really let NC Tong get his game plan going early on. Wow. What a war. Instant classic for sure. That will be watched many times. Phoenix fight eight. Never, never.